Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I am so excited because we're going to do something I have never done before. We're going to be roasting all of my Halloween costumes throughout the years. I'm so excited to show you guys costumes that I wore when I was like 20 to now. And we're just going to sit back, relax. We're going to sit back, relax, and we're going to roast the heck out of them. So you guys are going to see what those costumes were, what I think of them now. Well, then definitely keep watching. Happy Halloween! Woo! It's officially my favorite holiday and I'm so excited and I'm also feeling so much better. It's still a little bit of congestion, but I'm feeling so much better than what I have in the last couple of days. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me. I am so excited because we are celebrating Halloween today. I'm wearing my Halloween costume. I didn't have time to really pick out a costume this year because I've been so busy with Vlogoween and being sick. So instead, I'm gonna be a Disney tourist. So I am rocking my Disney ears, my Disney spirit jersey. I have my Halloween I have my Halloween bag to go with that. So this is me rocking a Disney tourist today because it's exactly what Disney tourists are wearing at the theme parks today, especially Magic Kingdom. This is exactly what they're wearing. So <laughs> this is my Halloween costume, but happy Halloween, guys. I'm so excited to celebrate Halloween with you guys and to say we made it. We officially made it to day 31 of Vlogoween. <laughs> So over the years, I have always loved Halloween and I have always worn lots of fun outfits. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, majority of my outfits were like slutty. I wanted to be slutty for Halloween because, well, who hasn't wanted to be slutty for Halloween? But as I gotten older, I've kind of stopped caring about that and wanted to do more fun Halloween looks. So we're just gonna laugh at my former self and I'm gonna show you guys which one's my personal favorite Halloween look that I've ever done. And I bet you it's gonna be something you guys have never, I bet you it's something you guys don't even think of. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go all the way back and you guys are gonna get to see me way when I was just like a baby. Okay, so the first Halloween costume, it's not the best image, but here I am wearing what's supposed to be like a Mother Earth outfit slash Tinkerbell outfit. And I tried to do like <laughs> a green eyeshadow look. Clearly it went over well. I looked so pretty doing that look. I'm taking a jello shot. That's the photo right now is I'm taking a jello shot. The man that you see behind me, that is my lovely husband. He was a woman for Halloween that year and he's right behind me and you should have seen him. He wore a skirt and a top and boots, <laughs> but that's me. I think I'm like 21 here or maybe I'm not 21. I'm not entirely sure. I've Definitely have had my fair, fair, my fair share of drinks since I was 18. Like, I don't think anyone ever waits till they're 21 anymore to have a drink. But I think I'm, like, not 21 here. I don't think I am. But I have my short red hair. I used to be a big redhead, guys. Right? Like, how crazy. But that Halloween costume, I remember... If you guys see the little titties right there, I wore like an extra padded, like super, super, like I wore like an extra, like extra stuffy bra because I wanted to have my little girls showing. My little girls, back then I was a 32A, super itty bitty. I'm now like a 32B, still not the biggest size, but I can like fully fill out a B cup. Like I'll get a little bit of spillage. I think I'm getting a little bigger. I think also has to do with the fact that like I've definitely gained some weight from when I first took this photo. Remember two years ago, guys, I was 89 pounds. I've definitely gained some weight since then. And I, I love my body now. So <laughs> yes, um, that was, I was like, I couldn't even tell you. I was mother earth that year. Oh, this costume. This was my attempt to be a sexy red riding hood. I really wanted Corey to be a big bad wolf that year. I don't know what he was, but here I am wearing again, an extra double stuffed bra to have a little bit of cleavage. Um, my eyebrows, like what the heck is going on there? I never took care of my eyebrows until a year and a half ago, two years when I started doing my eyebrows, but look how thin they were. And I'm not even like doing like really any makeup. Like I'm just wearing like black eyeliner and like not even like a fully red lip. It's so ugly. I thought it was so hot that night. I thought it was like the hottest shit, bitch. Like look at that makeup. Look at that lip. Who is she? I would never. I would never know, but yeah, this is me trying to be like a little red riding hood. And it's so funny because I think I still have these costumes somewhere. Um, this is our very first apartment that I ever had with Corey. And then if you actually look at my feet, like what is that? 
what is that? I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, here is me wearing a little red riding hood outfit with little pigtails, my long red hair again. Um, horrible, horrible makeup. Oh, this outfit. <laughs> so this outfit, me and a group of my friends, or actually a group, so me and a group of coworkers wanted to go as the Avengers that year. It's the first year that the Avengers movie came out. So we all wanted to partake and do different Avengers. So I was Iron Man. And Corey and I actually handmade this costume. Well, actually more, Corey handmade this costume. So I bought a red corset. We took like gold duct tape. We like cut styrofoam. We put gold duct tape and um, silver duct tape to make the little square. We like duct tape the entire corset bottom. We bought red gloves and duct tape the red gloves with gold. I bought a stupid red skirt and then these shoes were black flats that we completely wrapped up in red tape and put little like square gold tapes right there. The shoes were unbelievably uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. They made blisters in the back of my feet. But I thought this little outfit was cute. Um, we have a little, you know, gold headband. And again, what's with the makeup? I literally didn't really know much about makeup then. So I just wore a mascara and black liner. And then I also just did red lip. But like I did red lip like, oh my God, like my upper lip is pretty much gone. Like, do you guys see that? My upper lip is pretty much gone. And I just did it like right here. And then just right here, I didn't, even, I didn't even like do it the way that it should be done. Like I didn't even do it the way it should be done. So that is my little um, Iron Man outfit. This actually took hours to do. Like we put a lot of thought into this and it was actually a lot of fun. I got to wear this at um, a costume party over at Disney and I really enjoyed this outfit. I thought it was super cute. Everybody, you know, really did a good job partaking and doing their part. Um, put a lot of work into this, but it was fun. It was fun. I bet you I could do better now than I did. <laughs> this was a last minute costume idea. So I just threw on a black dress, these really weird black wrinkly gloves. Do you guys see that? I don't know what that is. Black wings and um, a black halo because I was going to go as a dark angel that year. And again, you guys can tell that I put a lot of effort into this costume. It was kind of like a last minute costume idea because we were um, going to go to this Halloween party last minute. So we kind of just threw that together. Um, again, didn't really do much with my makeup. There's no shock there. Your girl didn't know shit about makeup back then. Um, definitely not the best costume, especially these gloves or that's like what's really throwing me off is these gloves. It's horrendous. Um, this is the only photo that, that I have. I'm still wearing those same damn shoes that I wore with the little red riding hood. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it's definitely not the best look, but you know, I got the job done. got the job done that night. Everybody knew I was a black angel. It worked for last minute. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So if you guys I, I've been telling you guys I've been dropping hints where I worked at or what theme park I worked at. This photo right here should tell you exactly what theme park I worked at. I work at one of the four theme parks. I've worked there for almost 11 years. And this, if anyone could tell in the photo, this will tell you exactly what theme park I work at. I could just tell you, but I think it's kind of fun if you guys just guess, personally. Eventually, I will, you know, do like a QA. and a You guys can ask me all the questions you guys want because I'm finally willing to open up and tell you guys where I've worked. Um, Corey still works there. So if you, guys, if you guys ever are at that theme park, you guys can take and go in and say hi to him. But here I am. This was for a costume party. And I was with my best friend, Kim. And we went as Oompa Loompa that year and let me tell you we literally handmade this costume so those white pants are from disney like we got the white pants from disney we did like um the streamer like streamers like you like you know that you can like wrap around and like design for parties that's what that white thing is with brown tape we brown taped everything that says oompa loompa we got socks that we filled with like stuffing paper and wrapped it and put on our black work shoes we got white gloves and then we obviously painted our face and we got these black wigs so i like we handmade and we oh and the shirt too is a white is a, is a brown shirt from disney and we handmade that as well let me tell you, we went in for this Halloween contest at Disney and I have never been more embarrassed in my entire life because literally the theme park closed at five, another indication of where I worked and the theme park closed at five. And this is before the theme park closed at five. This park, this park used to close at five all the time. It's the earliest park always. It always closes the earliest. Another clue. Another clue. It always closes the earliest. So pay attention to that clue, guys. Um, so we went to an after party for cast members and we went as the Oompa Loompas because we we're going to go for a costume contest. And I was walking into 
this park and a lot of the guests were walking out and they're all like, oh my God, look, it's Oompa Loompas, it's Oompa Loompas. I have never been more embarrassed in my entire life. Um, I was so like, don't look at me, don't look at me. I was like shuffling in. Like I was, I don't know, I was so self-conscious. I was so embarrassed. Um, I just did not do well with the attention on me. I still don't do well with the attention on me personally. I would probably still be embarrassed if I did this now. I'm not going to lie. I don't like the attention. But we went in and then we went on stage and we had to perform the Oompa Loompa song. So we were like, Oompa Loompa oompa dee do like we went and put on a performance i was so embarrassed but you know what we ended up um, winning and we had the best time and everybody that whole night were taking photos of us and we just had a really great time and you know what i will say it was definitely a lot of fun people did not expect us to come in as oompa loompas and we made it work because we're both pretty short so <laughs> this costume for me as embarrassing it was i actually really enjoy this because i didn't feel the need to be like sex or anything like that i was just you know having fun and that's what mattered to me so i actually really do enjoy this one okay so this is me and Corey <laughs> we went as vanilla v von sweets and wreck it ralph i love that movie so much i love it i love it i love it i love vanilla v von sweets so i made this costume i got a black skirt i made the tights again we use tape we use tape for everything i bought this black wig that i threw up into a ponytail that's why i look so horrible i got a red bow and i glued i went and bought real candy and glued it into this wig and then i made the cross stitching and the um this pool string out of a jacket because I didn't have her costumes at the time and then Corey's was pretty easy to make um we used to call him skinny Ralph because obviously he's not as big as Wreck-It Ralph but we had a lot of fun that year a lot of people stopped to take pictures of me I thought it was so cool I love being Vanellope Vanellope Von Sweet she's my third favorite Disney character my first favorite Disney character is actually Wally he's my first I love Wally with all my heart and he's my best buddy in Disney Dreamlight and then my second favorite is Olaf followed by Vanellope Von on sweets and I just I really love this costume again it didn't it was again it was just about being fun um I threw that wig away that night because well we don't need to have ants in the hair but that was fun I really like that costume again it didn't take too much like it's so cool how you can make some of these costumes and don't take too much okay so next I here I am with Kim one year later again we are back at the same theme park for another Halloween costume party and we went as Tweedledee and Tweedledum I was Tweedledee she was Tweedledum and with, again this costume was so easy to make you can buy the hat and like the little collar you can buy that on Amazon super easy we went and bought the yellow shirts from Target bought the red skirts like the tutus from um, Party City we got the tights from Party City and the shoes were our work shoes again <laughs> so we were able to make it work this is when I started to dive into makeup a little bit so I try to put more effort into my makeup by doing like red lips and I tried doing like eyeshadow and mascara and stuff like that you guys are gonna hear this dog behind me this is the dog that likes to fucking pee on our door it's an annoying dog that will bark for hours but anyway this was this was a lot of fun we ended up not winning that year there was people who went as um the the tram they went as the tram that year for the halloween party and they won because they actually made it into a tram they did, they did a whole skit they won i thought it was super cute but this was definitely a really fun costume contest that me and her had and i really enjoyed this one and again it required like little effort it was fun it's always fun like when you can do a matching co halloween costume with somebody it's a lot of fun but i did like this one this costume i wanted to be a witch i don't think i need to say more um the dress what is that that's not a witchy dress that's not a witchy dress i bought it from hot i bought it from spirit but that's just the freaking black dress with this ugly ass hat ugly makeup <laughs> um i don't even know what type of shoes i'm wearing because my shoes are cut off but i think this is atrocious <laughs> i look back at these photos and i'm like oh god it's the worst like this to me is not a witch that's not a witch in the slightest like i think i've done witchier looks now without even trying compared to that that's just bad i don't even know what Corey's trying to be Corey's just i don't know what he is <laughs> Okay, so this costume right here, I went to go as a wolf. So this is the first time I tried like playing with makeup, like actually trying. So I went and looked up a YouTube tutorial at the time, and this was before I even did YouTube. This is when we lived in our one bedroom. This is the apartment that when I first started YouTube in. But like I actually made that like ghost the the wolf stuff right around my nose by doing you know, like you know 
black eyeliner and then I used a lot of grays and browns in the like to go around the face try to frame it to make it look like hair was growing out of me I thought it was super cute with the red lip I think it's a really cute costume and then like when you actually see it as a whole you guys can kind of see that I'm a wolf with curly hair I again was trying to be super sexy so like I had a super pushed up bra I was trying to be like all nice and like ooh ah because we were going to a Halloween party with all of our co-workers so I was just trying to be like as sexy as possible again I don't know what Corey was trying to go as don't know <laughs> but yeah I look back at this costume I couldn't even tell you what type of shoes I was wearing I think I was wearing like boots but looking at it now like I would never do this again like to me this is just too much it's too trying to be something that I'm not I'm not like that so next um we have um this is me and Jenna Jenna went as a gumball machine that year I love her so much I love her Halloween costumes and I went as the SWAT um I actually do really like this outfit like this is the one outfit that I generally thought I I generally think I look like pretty sexy in <laughs> and like I'm, you guys know I'm talking shit about being sexy in all my Halloween stuff like trying to this is the one I generally felt beautiful I just put on this this SWAT outfit I had my push-up bra again put a little bit of shotgun, shotgun shells little like arm guard hand guard I put tights on with boots and in my like side braid and I generally felt pretty hot and I look at this picture now and I'm like you know what that was a pretty good outfit. It took like super like two seconds to do. Would I do it now? No, I would not do it now. I would do something a little different. I don't need to be like anything sexy for Halloween anymore. But I, you know, I had a lot of fun in that outfit. I thought I, I felt the pretty, I think out of all my Halloween costumes, I look at this one and that's the one I felt the prettiest in compared to all the ones prior. I felt the prettiest in this one. I like this one a lot. I still do. I still have this one too. Okay, so this year, this costume, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. I tried to be a like, like try to be N Nikki tutorials where I try to do like a mask, like a face mask. That's what I wanted to try to do. And I know it's not necessarily a costume, but it's me trying. Do you guys see how horrible that eye look is? Like, what is that? Like, I didn't know shit about makeup then. I still don't know a lot about makeup now, but even more so then. <laughs> that was so horrible. If you guys want a good laugh, go watch that video because it was just the worst. Um, but you know what? I, I, I tried. I tried. I tried. This Halloween costume, I had a lot of fun in this one. This is me being Flashback Mary from James Charles. This was so easy to do. Like, this for me is more fun for me Halloween-wise than, like, doing something, like, sexy, like the SWAT or Red Riding Hood and stuff like that. Like I find this better for me because it just allows me to let out my like fun, spontaneous, creative side compared to being like, ooh, let me be all sexy. Ooh. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with trying to be sexy for Halloween. Like everyone should do it once, right? But this is just more of where I've evolved now to be more fun and creative because I just find that to be better off for me and my personality wise because then I can like really get into the character, could have a lot of fun and... I, you know, I had a lot of fun doing Flashback Mary. Look at me, like, doing a fake-ass Adidas hat because I couldn't, I could not afford an Adidas hat. And um, I don't even know how much it costs now, honestly. But, yeah. Then we have me being Mrs. Doubtfire for Halloween one year. This was so fun. If you guys want to laugh, go watch that video. I had the best time laughing at that because I originally tried doing actual, like, whipped cream, but that shit melts so freaking fast. So then I had to move on to, like, actual frosting. I had the best time in that video it was so easy you can do that like this is like one of those last minute hauling costumes you can just kind of throw on this was so fun to me not my favorite but this is a lot of fun I have no regrets on that one. <laughs> oh my god then one year I wanted to do the apologetic beauty guru so I had this like cut out where it says I'm sorry and in the video I pretend to cry with messy hair I'm like I'm so sorry I messed up that's another easy Halloween costume very easy last minute you could just walk around the sign and <laughs> I thought that was creative. I like that one. Oh, then we have Bob Ross. I love Bob Ross so much. And so I think I, for any time I want to do like a Halloween costume, I can absolutely be Bob Ross at any point. It's so easy. It's so fun. And this is what I mean. Like where you guys can start to see where I've trans transitioned from when I was like 20 to now where I want to start doing more stuff like that because that to me is a lot of fun being like Bob Ross and stuff. Like I could really get into fucking character and you guys should definitely watch that video. That was a fun video. Oh my gosh, this Halloween costume um so this was in I think like 2020 yeah because we just got in Koa look how tiny Koa is so we wanted to be like a, do like a family costume so Koa so Corey was a prisoner Kaya was his guard dog I was a police officer and Koa was my prisoner and I hate the hat 
I hate the hat. The hat looks so freaking stupid. And once again, this is supposed to be one of those like sexy tight uniforms, which I obviously fell for the gimmick because you buy your uniforms as Spirit and this is exactly what Spirit does. They try to sexify everything. <laughs> and, but I was happy that you actually buttoned it up all the way so you didn't see any cleavage, but it was definitely like form fitting and whatnot. And I put a belt on so I could put handcuffs and a walkie talkie with tights and boots and stuff. The only reason why we did this costume is because this is a way that we can incorporate our dogs into doing like a family costume. That's why we picked it because Koa was a naughty potty, uh, naughty potty. Koa was a naughty puppy. Like, oh my gosh, he was worse than Kaya as a puppy, but he's an amazing dog, you know, but so we want him to be a bad puppy, like a bad criminal. And that's why I was like, I was his officer and Kaya was the, the sheriff of all of us and Corey's a prisoner. At the end of the day, I don't care for my outfit. I don't care for my makeup. Um, I think Corey looks nice. I think our dogs look nice. I could care less. I think the hat makes me look so stupid. I would never do this again. I'd try to do different fun Halloween costumes like as a family, but never do that one again. And last but not least, guys, last but not least, we have me being Carla from Finding Dory. I love this one so much. This is probably my favorite Halloween costume because it's so easy, it's so effortless. All I did was get a plastic Ziploc bag, put goldfish in it. I took um, aluminum foil, rolled it up, and then wrapped it around my ear to make it look like those freaking braces. Ton did tons and tons and tons and tons of freckles, put my hair in pigtails, put on a purple sweater with like a white collar, and I called it a day and it was so easy. It was so fun. You guys really enjoyed that Halloween costume. I really enjoyed doing that Halloween costume. And this to me is Halloween. Like this is what I want to do for Halloween from now on is doing something fun like that. Like characters that people would recognize. Like I would for sure, I would be Gollum from the Lord of the Rings. 100% I would do that costume because that's like where I'm at now. I'm about being fun now. I'm about, you know, trying to do fun and creative Halloween looks that people can look and laugh and they wanna take pictures of you because they remember that costume. And you stand out more doing something like that to me than just dressing as another sexy Halloween person. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I've outgrown it. I've outgrown it. And to me, I would definitely replicate this Halloween costume again. It was so fun. I love doing this Halloween looks and I miss doing that. You know, I wanna do something like that again for you guys next year because I did miss out on it this year. So those are all the Halloween costumes that I have. I'm sure there's more that I just can't remember, but now we have this one for 2022. It's me being a Disney tourist. I'm about to go to the Disney theme parks. I'm really not though, but I'm about to go to the Disney theme parks. I'm going to Magic Kingdom and I'm going to celebrate Halloween looking just like this. Like this to me is a Disney tourist. This is our Halloween costume this year, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to kind of show you guys my Halloween costumes throughout the year, how I've grown and evolved, and just do something a little different, kind of roast them, talk shit about myself, because it's always so much fun. I don't think Corey's dressing up for Halloween this year, but we do have our two little dogs. They're dressing up as ghosties, and we have our little buckets, and they're already filled with all the treats, but actually, when we're not get done filming, I'm actually going to hide the treats throughout the house, because they love this game where I hide the treats, and I say, find the treat, find the treat, and they'll go around trying to find their treat, and that's how we're going to do trick-or-treating for them this year. I'm looking forward to it they're gonna have so much fun but hi right, guys thank you guys so much for being part of my vlog series it was so much fun we officially made it so with that said guys happy halloween i hope you guys have a safe and fun halloween day have lots of candy go trick-or-treating just celebrate this glorious holiday and say goodbye to my background because next time you guys see me this background will be gone so I love it. I love you guys. And thank you guys so much for just being here. So with that said, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post every because I did post every day in the month of Vlogoween, but typically I do post four to five days a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to all these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye. All of my Halloween, Hall we're roasting. This is my fun, like Halloween. I have my fun Halloween. Like I'm, I'm, I'm out about being fun. That's where I'm at now. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Uh.